Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to come on and just share a message, kind of my feelings. I'm sure a lot of people are doing this right now, but I just kind of wanted to hopefully give you a different perspective on things. And the title of this video that I chose it to be is called Peace Not Panic. Okay, so let's get into it. So everybody knows by now that there's a lot of heavy energy that's been of like heavy energy of fear rather that is circulating the mass consciousness right now. So one thing to remember is that we cannot control the circumstances. However, we do have the power to control our actions and reactions to situations that come up in our life. So that's just something to remember and be mindful of. Giving up the need of controlling whatever is coming and worrying about that is not going to benefit you in any way. Instead, it's best to just gain control of your ability to focus upon something that feels good. So what is it that feels good to you? Focus on that. That is your true power. That is where you'll start to discover the freedom that you understood when you first were incarnated into your body, which is the freedom to stay tuned into your source energy. So that is why it's so important to just refocus your mind. Don't get stuck in all the scarcity that's going around and the panic that's happening. Um, use this time to take anything that seems like a negative and flip it into a positive. So examples could be like, well, one thing that I've noticed is that there is no one on the roads. <laughs> and so when I go, I've been seeing lots of clients lately, which I am very grateful for. And I'm so happy that I've been able to assist people in that way during this um, little bit of a crazy time. Um, and so it's really, you know, nice because here I am on the freeway doo -doo -doo, and it's like, phew, I'm flying. So um, I do appreciate that. So that's a positive in a situation like this, right? So find the positive within your situation. Now, I do feel that as we love ourselves and we focus on love and gratitude and of course peace, then we will cultivate enough that we can share that outward with others. And then we can continue to spread a good vibration for all to experience. So by taking time to work on yourself, you're able to share more outward. So keep this in mind, you know, as you move throughout the next few weeks, um, remember that things happen through you and not to you. So if you want to have a virus or a sickness, it will come for you if that's what you're looking for. And you do that by staying in a negative mindset, by being scared and fearful and in a panic, those things will come to you. But you have the ability, remember, in your reaction and action to a situation to change your outcome. So why not think of something different? Think of something that makes you happy. And that is what you need to continue to focus on. And then those things are not going to come and be a part of your reality. The facts about this coronavirus, which I'm going to refer to it in this video as CV, is that the facts are it's actually more tame than the flu. Now, of course, you probably haven't heard much about that because the media is not telling you much about it. All they're telling you is the craziness and the hype around it, and they wanna get you worried and panicked and fearful. And so that's their job, and they do that well, right? They've done a great job at that. <laughs> But CV on a global scale is actually very low on the fatality rate. The fatality rate for CV is actually less than 4%. 4%, less than that. So here's the thing, think about the whole entire world and how many people are inhabiting this world and only 4% have been fatal, that's it. So it's really not that big of a deal as much as they're making it out to be. Another thing to keep in mind is the regular flu that we are, you know, bombarded with every seasonal year. The flu's fatality rate globally is actually 
So if you look at the two numbers, 10% being the flu fatality rate, 4% being CV's re fatality rate, why are we making such a big deal about this? Does it make any sense? I don't think it makes any sense because if that's the case, why were we not freaking out about the flu earlier, right? So then it begs to, to a question comes forward, in my mind anyways, and it's like, okay, so if this is not as fatal as it really is statistically, and we're talking on a global scale, we're not just talking about the United States, we're talking about globally. So if that is true, that this has only a fatality of less than 4%, then why is it such a big deal right now? Why? Now, of course, the, the fatalities that have happened happen in elderly people. So it's been people in their 80s it, that get it. So of course, if you're in your 80s, you know, um, or beyond, you know, it's probably a good idea to stay indoors and to protect yourself in that way. But more, more likely than not, you're gonna be just fine. Actually, I can assure you that you will be fine. It's really, they're hyping it up, which then makes me go, why? Why are they hyping it up? What, my question is, what is more contagious than CV? The answer is fear. Yes, fear is way more contagious than CV. It's way more fatal too. And, you know, it. It, what it does, what fear does, is it induces cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And what happens is that makes the fight or flight. So back in the day, like, you know, when we were cavemen, you know, we needed that to kind of get away from the tiger that was going to try to eat us, right, for, for dinner. So it's good for those reasons, but it's not good living day to day like that. It's really, really not beneficial at all. And so what happens is, when that cortisol kicks in and it releases that stress hormone, what ends up happening is it, re it reduces our immune system. So our immune system takes a huge crash. And guess what happens when our immune system crashes? That's when little other things like viruses and sicknesses can get in. So that just goes to show that it's kind of a good idea to just release it and let this be. It's not healthy for anyone. Um, you know, for the news to control the masses, the way they have to do that is by keeping you in a fearful state. And again, they're, they're winning, right? Everybody's out there and they're doing exactly what the news said. Go out and buy this, and buy that, and buy this. And the funny thing is, you know, no one ever said that we were going to have a shortage on food. We live on Gaia our mother earth, she is abundant. She would never let us down. And so we have nothing to worry about. There is so much abundance here that, you know, fear of not having something is like, again, not healthy. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's a way of control. Fear is controlling. Um, and that's what they did. They're shutting things down. People are in a fearful state. They start shutting things down, which is control. So again, you're being controlled by your own fear. So choose a different vibration. Fear is a very low vibration. Worrying is a very low vibration. You can raise it up by being in a happier state, by being in a love state, peace, happiness, all that stuff. That is a high, high vibration. And that is where we need to focus our attention towards. So another thing, you know, again, focusing on love and positivity is the opposite of fear. So, you know, there's no way for them to control you if you're in a high vibrational state. And that is why I feel good because I'm not allowing this to control me. I'm not sitting here in my house and like, you know, scared to go out into the world. I am still living my everyday life. I still go to my office job. I'm still doing client sessions in person. In person, I'm not doing virtual stuff. I'm actually going and seeing people in person and giving them crystal Reiki healing sessions to help them have empower themselves to be in a better state. 
That is what is important. Don't let this stop you living your life. You know, this is so, it's so silly. And, you know, people are just so wrapped up in it. Um, you know, this is a huge shift, honestly, in the, the mass consciousness. That's the underlying thing that's going on. And it's really a good time to take this time that you have and reevaluate things in your life. What is it that you really prefer to be doing? What is your true soul purpose and soul calling? This is the time to tap in deep and figure out what that means to you. So ask yourself that question and come up with an answer. And when you do, follow it. Our life is so short, you know, so enjoy the moments that you have and go after your dreams and wishes and make them happen for yourself. You will live a much happier, more fulfilled life if you can do that. So, you know, it's cool because people are now shifting and they're not able to be in their normal state, in their robotic state, as you will. Like, you know, go to work, the same thing every day, you know, repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Things have been shaken up and and changed. And now you are probably stuck at home listening to this. (laughs) And so because of that, it's exciting because this is a time for self-discovery. Discover what it is you want. What is it that your soul is, is needing right now, right? So here are some ideas of things that you might want to consider doing if you have extra time. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, when I work with clients, I, of course, talk about meditation. Meditation is a huge benefit. It actually reduces stress, which is opposite of what's going on right now, which is great. So I would definitely recommend meditation. Now, a lot of my clients will say things like, well, I don't know how to, or I don't have time to. Well, the universe has delivered you a gift and now it's time to unwrap that gift. And you, again, have the choice. How do you want to live this time out? So, you know, try a meditation. And the cool thing is if you go to my website, which is beamoonstruck.com, in the drop down menu of the more, I have a meditation spot. By clicking that, it sends you to a whole bunch of guided meditations that I've pre-recorded, and they're totally free. So you can just sit back, relax at home, give yourself some space, hold a few crystals that are your favorites, and enjoy a guided meditation. It will really help clear your mind and know that this is not that big of a deal, and it will pass, and things will be back to normal within a few weeks, if not sooner. So other things, of course, that you can do is you can, um, why are you showing everyone your bum? (laughs) Um, Other things that you can do is you could read a book, you know, pick up a book that you've been wanting to read and, and learn something new right now. That's a good thing to do right now. Um, shoot, I have a book out and I actually talk about how to manifest your dreams and, you know, those type things. And you, so you can learn about it. It's called Crystal Clear Enlightenment. So you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, but that is something else that you can do. Like start reading, start finding, learning some new things while you have this time. Another thing that I really enjoy is yoga. I do yoga every single day and it really is a big stress reliever for me. That and meditation has helped me significantly. So give it a try. There's lots of YouTube um, yoga instructors. So if you don't prefer to go out right now, you can always do it at home. One of my favorite YouTube um, people that do it is called Yoga with Adrienne. So check her out. She's amazing. I love her energy. You will too. Um, So other things you could try doing, you could paint, you could write, you could like, if you've ever wanted to write a book, why not do it now? You can draw, you can paint, let's say I said paint already, Um, dance, sing, you know, find something that makes you happy. Um, You can take an online class and learn something new. Um, You can have a purging party, which is perfect to do. We have Ostara here, which is our spring equinox is coming up in just a few more days, actually, Um, which is, you know, a great time to spring clean, as we call it at our house, a purging party where we just get together and we're like, okay, what can we get rid of? What can we donate? And what is no longer in that we need that we can just get rid of. So a lot of times we will call like Salvation Army and they'll come and pick it up. And so that is like the perfect thing to do during this time. Like have a purging party. Get rid of the things that, you know, no longer serve you. Um, Let other people enjoy it instead. 
Um, you can always catch up with a friend, you know, give them a call or a FaceTime to see what they're up to. Um, you can learn a new language. So I've been learning, um, trying to tap into learning um, sign language, American Sign Language again. So that's something you could do, you know, try learning a new language while you have some time. Um, if you have kids at home, you know, now would be a great time to teach them like life lessons. Um, in school, you know, fine, they teach them like the alphabet and math and science. That's great. But, you know, a lot of times I think school is lacking in the department of what really helps in, you know, everyday life. And so things like meditation, how to deal with stress is a great thing to teach kids. Um, yoga would be another thing that you could do all as a family. Um, also maybe teaching them how to finance their finances, how to budget their money, you know, and what money is. You could give them play money and teach them like, you know, by doing certain jobs around the house, they can have this money, which will turn into, you know, a reward at the end of the week, you know, where they can buy it with their money. So those are all things that you can do to kind of um, teach them life skills, you know, while they're home and you have that time with them. Um, you can also teach them how to cook, you know, um, pull out some of your old recipes and have fun cooking together. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of things that we can do and refocus and have this time be super magical and, and not a waste. So let's see what else. Other ways that you can deal with this time and, and things to help you along this time because it can be stressful, especially, you know, when you get around a lot of people and they start talking the same talk, you know, then your vibration lowers as they're scared and in fear and panicking, then it lowers your vibration. So there's ways that we can work with crystals, of course, to stay in a higher vibration so that way those type things won't bother us. So I'll go through a few of my favorite crystals. Um, one, of course, this is my absolute favorite. Favorite. I've been working with this one every single day, um, just recently because of all the energy shifts and stuff. So this, and I've mentioned this one before, this is called Lepidolite. Look how beautiful. It reminds me of a starry night sky. Isn't that beautiful? I love that one. So lipidolite is awesome for calming you down. It's good for stress, anxiety, depression. Um, it helps equalize your um, emotions out. So this one is excellent to just chill you out. Um, it's a great one. And so lipidolite, you got to check that one out. It would definitely be one worth working with during this time, especially. Another one um, that is really good for this time that we're going through right now is, of course, rose quartz. I have two different versions of rose quartz here. So this is the raw version. And then this is a tumbled version. So you can see there. Um, so yeah, so rose quartz is great for self-love. It's like the love crystal. So it's all about self-love. Um, hey. <laughs> He's getting... You want to play with rose quartz? Oh yeah, you like that one. So rose quartz is great for self-love. It's good for um, unconditional love. So being patient with others. It also brings a layer of peace. So excellent. And here's a tip. Here's a handy little tip that I like to tell people about rose quartz. Take it and put it in your bathtub with you. Oh my goodness, not only does it make you feel super more relaxed, but side note, little trick is that it actually like reduces wrinkles. And so it actually helps your skin look great. So rose quartz, rose quartz great for that. And great for this time um, to just calm you down and understand that love is the answer, love is what we should all be focusing on. We are all one. And so we should love and share and be there for others. So that is a great one to work with. Um, next up is amethyst, my favorite. Who doesn't love amethyst? Oh goodness, I have amethyst all over my house. And then I have this ring here that's amethyst that I got from my grandma. So amethyst is amazing. And it is great for peace. It's good for calming, relaxation. Really good to put in your pillow at night. Um, great for headaches. So if you're having a lot of headaches right now dealing with all this stuff, 
Um, I wouldn't suggest putting this heavy piece on your third eye or where it's hurting on your head, but you could get a tumbled crystal, kind of like the rose quartz that I showed you, and you could set it on your head or wherever is bothering you, and it will actually make your head it headache go away. So that's another little handy tip. So amethyst, awesome. Okay, last up in the crystals that I'm sharing with you today is smoky quartz. This is my big baby smoky quartz. Beautiful. So smoky quartz is a great one. It is good for transmuting negative energy into positive. So that's why I really like working with smoky quartz. So it's going to take any of the negative feelings that you're feeling and the yuckiness and it's just gonna make it all positive for you. Isn't that cool? Um, it's also very grounding. It'll make you feel more present, more um, secure and it's very protective as well. So smoky quartz is a great one to work with during this time as well. So let's also talk about some herbs that you can work with. Now, if you watch my other video, I have talked about this herb, herb before, and it is called ashwagandha. <laughs> Here's the spelling. Okay, hold on, there you go. Here's the spelling in case you were wondering. Ashwagandha, you can see I get it at Sprouts. Um, so ashwagandha, it reduces stress levels by 44%. So that's a good number, right? So this is great for um, stress, anxiety, depression. Um, it helps balance your moods. Um, it, it, it does all kinds of stuff. It helps manage your, I have like notes on the back of what it helps us with. Um, lowers cholesterol. It's good for um, balancing hormones. Um, it increases memory and helps you improve your memory. So ashwagandha, super amazing. Pick it up at Sprouts. Uh, you know, I love taking ashwagandha. It really helps. I actually take it every single day. So that's one that you can try to help get through a stressful time. Another one that's super great that I just recently started trying is called GABA. So GABA is another one you can pick up at Sprouts, of course. I know I should get like, I, I promise you I'm not <laughs> affiliated with Sprouts. I talk about them a lot though because I love Sprouts. So GABA is great. It's an amino acid. And this is actually something that has a natural calming agent to it. These ones are like little lodgings. So what you do with them, um, the other one, okay, let me back up for a second. Ashwagandha is a pill, so you would just swallow it. Um, GABA, this GABA anyway, is a lodgings. So the way you would use this is the best way to get it into your system and quickly is you would take it and kind of chew it up just a little bit and then stick it under your tongue. And by doing that, it gets into your system a heck of a lot faster. Literally, this is a chill pill. Chill pill in a bottle, the real deal. <laughs> um, it really does help you relax. It helps you feel less stressed. So definitely check out GABA if you are dealing with a lot of stress or anxiety right now. Um, of course, other things that you can try is, you know, sound baths, sound healing, sound sessions, like sound healing sessions. Um, that's another thing that's really super beneficial. It reduces stress, anxiety, um, lowers blood pressure, <clears throat> among so many other things. Um, of course, crystal Reiki healing, um, like one-on-one -on -one sessions where you get your chakras balanced and all that good stuff. Um, these, of course, are things that I do. And um, so if you're interested, you can always look on my website, bemoonstruck.com. But those are all things that would really help during a stressful time, just help like clean the slate and get you back to, to a neutral space, um, so to speak. So I hope that this kind of shedded a different light for you. And I hope that it gave you a different perspective on the things that are going on. You know, use this time productively. Use it as a time of self-discovery and of spiritual growth and figure out what it is that your soul really is wanting and what it desires. Um, this is the time to, to do it. It's why not? You know, what are you waiting for? <laughs> um, it's a great time for expansion. So open your mind, you know, see how that you are being manipulated by the news and realize that there might be something going on behind the scenes because as we're all running around, you know, being crazy about collecting things that aren't necessary, what's really going on behind the scenes?
because everybody's so focused on getting that pack toilet paper <laughs> or that package of water that they're missing something. There's things going on behind the scenes that you might be missing because you're just too involved and you're, you're wrapped up in the panic and fear that the news has put out. So my tip is to release watching the news. Stop just stop and give it a break and see how much freer you feel and how more empowered you feel. Believe me, you don't need it as much as you think you do. And, you know, limit yourself on social media too. find the things that, you know, make you feel good. If it's a video that makes you feel good, then watch it. But if it's something that's not and it's somebody who's negative that's coming on your feed all the time, maybe it's time to just declutter it, you know, get rid of it, have a purging party, like I said, and get rid of the things that don't make you feel good. Um, you know, and realize that we are all one. We're all here together on this planet, learning, living, loving, and growing. Let's do it together in happiness and in peace and love. And so much more will come out of it and we'll all have a better, happier, healthier life if we just learn that we are all one and we're all connected and, you know, we can be grateful for the things we have. And by doing that, we're able to fill up our cup and share gratefulness and love to everyone else around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions or you just need to talk or you wonder more about crystals, please get in touch with me. I love to help you with any questions you might have. But I do wish you a magical week. And until next time, I'm sending you light loves and lunar hugs. Bye everybody, have a super magical day.